Hello, people. I'm back again. Rush is the name. You probably know my first name by now since I've come before you several different times. But Ali is the first name, and I just got a... I have another thought-provoking couple of questions I want to ask you. And a situation that could arise that I would like you to to think about. It's best to think about and have we expect some things than to have them hit you rather hard in surprise. But a series of questions I have to ask you starting with, if the bottom falls out of oil prices, what would you say? I hear you say, oh, that would be good, you say. Well, if housing crashes, well, that's good too, you would say. If food prices hit the ceiling and jobs fled the country, I hear you saying, now that's awful. What am I going to do? Now I've got you thinking, that's good. Just what do we know about the outcome of this awful illness that we call the coronavirus? Do we know what it will do next? Do we know what will we do next? What will we do or could we do to bring economic stability back? I want to bring it to your attention that the stimulus is only a temporary fix. A lot of us are at home now. A lot of us are unemployed. Uh, a lot of us uh, don't don't have really really jobs that that sustain or support us. We're struggling. We're wondering, and within ourselves, we're worrying about what are we going to do next. What did Grandma and Grandpa do to make ends meet? Can we do the same things now and exist? Not only does time change, but people change with time. Can we do the things Grandma and Grandpa did back then and exist now? A lot of us haven't done uh, the very thing that they did to keep food on the table. And I'm coming to that uh, question is a thought provoking question that is could we go back to gardening raise our own food and live what are some of the ways we could grow our own food we don't have the space now and many of us don't live in rural areas so we don't have the space or the know-how. Could we take an old saying and bring truth out of it? Where there's a will, there's a way? Have you thought within yourself, examine yourself to see just how strong your will is? Is willpower all that is needed to solve these world would-be problems? Have you thought about where we would be if the second round of this virus created more death than the first? My last and final question, just how possible could it be? Many of us are independent. We have never had to depend on anyone but self. We're too proud and would rather do things alone and in our own way. But alone is where we could be if we allow pride to become our leaning post. Friends may ha have to lean on, learn rather to lean on each other. Family members could be your crutch. Sometimes our lessons are not always learned in school. Let this experience be a lesson to you and learn it well. Bless you again. Like, subscribe, and share this with 
a friend or a family member. Until next time.